In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God the Father, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Dear brothers and sisters, uh, I am a priest from the Holy Land, and uh, we were, I was so, uh, so sad to watch uh, a couple of videos uh, from Latin America, especially from Ecuador, where a young lady, Miss Angelica Zambrano, uh, seems, well, says that she, she was put to death, she died for 23 hours, and, and then uh, she saw heaven and hell, and in hell, she saw John Paul II. Well, uh, I would really drop any personal remarks about the young lady, whom of course we don't know personally, just through the screen. But it's good to know the following points. Number one, to claim that someone, by God's will and permission, had to die and to see hell in order after that to tell people what there is in hell, and especially who is in hell, is something which goes completely against the Holy Gospel. Here you see the, the original text in Greek of uh, the Gospel of Luke, chapter 16, where our Lord Jesus Christ gives the parable of the, of the rich man and of Lazarus, and where our father Abraham refuses the proposal of the rich man. Because the rich man in hell asks our father Abraham, please send someone to warn at least the members of my family so that they might not end up here in this hell of fire or in this fire of hell. And our father Abraham answers, which is actually Jesus' position, they do have Moses and the prophets. So, if they did not believe in Moses and in the prophets, who did talk about uh, uh, hell. They wouldn't believe even if someone were to raise from the dead. So, this young lady is said, is saying, is claiming to have been put to death. Is it a real death when you are away for 23 hours? Is it? Physically speaking, medically speaking, but now theologically speaking, evangelically speaking, this is really against the gospel. Jesus said exactly the opposite in the parable, Luke 16. Another thing which is, which is anti-biblical is that somewhere uh, Miss Sambrano seems to claim or claims that she did see the face of the Holy Spirit, somehow an incarnation of the Holy Spirit. As we know from the Holy Gospel and from the whole New, New Testament, it is the Word which became flesh and not the Spirit which became flesh. John 1.14 and the Spirit did appear but not as a human being but as a dove on the day of Jesus' baptism in River Jordan. Another thing which is really cruel and which is anything but divine, it is to tell a mother that your daughter will die. I mean, and when I watched, I'm talking about myself actually, when I, I listened to the testimony, so to say, of Angelica's mother, well, she seemed to say that 
well, she was, she was sad, but then all of a sudden, she was, she was delighted and glad, especially when she knew that Pope John Paul II was in hell. I mean, this, this transition is so abnormal. A normal woman, a normal lady, a normal mother, a normal mama, would, she wouldn't even bear that shock. It, it, it might give her a heart attack, among other, other things. Well, we see here such uh, an unnatural attitude and, well, in the first place, is it God's wisdom? Is it God's mercy to, to tell a mother, your daughter will die, and then to have that mother watch her child, her whatever, 19 year old or her, her daughter, dying in front of her eyes without her dying, without her getting a heart attack or something. I mean, it's, it's rather, it does not seem so human and even less divine. Well, how come this video appeared good five, nearly six years after the death of the pontiff. How come? If he had to go to hell, well, he would have gone there immediately after his death. So, apparently, with the hard evidence, this video is a reaction to the fact of his beatification. What does beatification mean? It means the acknowledgement by the church based on hard evidence, on miracles, on the sanctity of his life. So when all this was proved scientifically, medically, well, then there came a reaction and unfortunately from Latin America Latin America, which was originally, originally Catholic until some time, well, when many groups, especially from the United States of America, and especially after the year uh, 1979, uh, had this policy. You know, instead of evangelizing, let's say, non-Christian countries uh, going to Catholics, especially poor Catholics in Latin America. Well, here I would like, uh, without any further details, I would like to stress that the real Pentecost uh, did take place in Jerusalem, in the upper room, in the year 30, and that the Pentecostal movements to which the Sambrano family, at least mother and, uh, and daughter, uh, belong started only in the United States of America, in the state of California, in Los Angeles, LA, in 1906. By the way, the state of California was founded, well, well it used to be Mexico until 1848, and the, the whole state of California was founded actually by Franciscans, by missions of Franciscans. Well, there are other things which are important. Now we come, we come actually to the, let's say, to the substance of the, the video. Why should Pope Paul, John Paul II be in hell? Why didn't Sambrano see Hitler or Mussolini or Judas or a couple of Jewish criminals around history. Why John Paul II? Who evangelized more than John Paul II? How many millions of people did his words reach? Does he really deserve to go to hell? The man who historically brought atheist Marxism to an end.
starting from his own country, Poland. Does he deserve to go to hell when he said at the beginning of his pontificate, open wide your doors to Christ? Did he take advantage of his position? Is it proven that he took advantage financially for his own person, for the rest of his family, I mean, I mean cousins or uh, you know, relatives, all this is slander and it is not proven by any way. If the church has proclaimed him blessed, that's what we call beatification, it comes after a very severe exam of testimonies, heroicity, of his life, sanctity of his behavior, a couple of miracles proven medically, scientifically, and this is why actually a reaction came through this video of uh, Miss Sambrano. We don't want to judge her, but at their fruits you will acknowledge them. By the way, we don't need anyone from Latin America or from anywhere to tell us that there is heaven and there is hell. Uh, thank you for your attention and may, our, and may God, our Lord, bless you all. Amen.